welcome back to another video so today we are replacing one of my biggest issues that i've been having with this car for a quite some time now so today we are replacing my fried o2 sensor on the civic so so when i installed my rev6 downpipe did not know that this would happen i fried the o2 sensor on the upstream of the downpipe so you got two o2 sensors on your exhaust you got a downstream o2 sensor and you got an upstream o2 sensor so today we're replacing the o2 sensor upstream because it's been fried to this crisp see we are restoring my trim pieces so not all my trim pieces are bad i'm going to show you guys so the top of the car the trim pieces have been faded up because of the sun and also i'm going to restore my cow before we jump into this video if you're not subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button below also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my updates and uh let's go all right so i'm gonna hit you guys with a quick time lapse right quick i know you guys do not want to watch me take my precious time taking this off so yes so there's three things you want to do to get to your downpipe take the windshield wiper blades off take the cowl off and take this metal plate off that separates the engine from the downpipe and that will be it so hope you enjoy this time lapse right quick and uh i catch back with you guys later So now I'm gonna show you guys where the O2 sensor is located at. O2 sensor is right there. Only thing we have to do now is to plug the wire harness and then we have to get our O2 sensor uh, socket removal and that's it. And one more thing guys, when you're doing this, take your time because it can get frustrating because when you get the socket between the O2 sensor and the wires, the wires like to do a little twisty twist on you, but you wanna just take your time and it would I promise you it would come off very quickly. This is always difficult. Oh my gosh. It's supposed to be a simple snap, but no. Every time I do this, <laughs> it's always an issue. <laughs> Gosh. Finally got this thing out of here. So we got a little situation. You see these here? Look identical at the bottom, but at the top, they totally different. So what I'm gonna do is splice the two wires. So I don't know why when I got this, when I bought this O2 sensor, I didn't pay no attention or it just didn't give me the description of it it has a female end and i need a male end so what we're gonna do is splice these two wires down the middle cut these both and i'm going to connect this end to the new o2 sensor
And this is our finished product. So I have the right connector on here this time. And uh, let's go throw this thing in the car and uh, see what happens. O2 sensor upstream. So hopefully the check engine light doesn't come on when I'm going down the road, but hopefully everything is good. I turned the car on and it idled was fine. It's 809 right now. And I gotta put all this stuff back up. The next day. It's currently the next day and we finally completed the O2 sensor. Everything came out at great success. Drove it yesterday and we were all good. I did not show you guys the O2 sensor because daylight wasn't on my side anymore and the sun was going down. So right here is the O2 sensor. Now this thing is fried to the crisp. I hope it's in focus for you guys because it is all white on all sides. And that was the reason why my check engine light was coming on every single time and that was the main problem. Now, there's two O2 sensors. There's an upstream and a downstream O2 sensor. Now, I haven't checked the downstream O2 sensor, and I probably will check that sometime coming up later in the week. Now, we're about to jump on to restoring the trim pieces. Like I said before, we are doing the cow, and we're doing the top trim pieces on the top of the car. So, yes, let's get started with that, and uh, let's go. So, the first thing I'm going to do is wipe it down. So I don't have any nine wax detergent, but I did look on Google and it says alcohol will be okay. So what I'm doing, wipe down all the trim pieces with alcohol, then I'll wipe it down without any alcohol. Let it sit for a couple minutes and then we will start fixing the cow. So we are completely done restoring the trim pieces. As you can see, it looks 10 times better than it did before because it was faded out. Now the cow is my best part because this thing looks like pure money. Um, so yes, show the other side of this trim piece up here. Shot so good. Might have to go back and do the door trim pieces because I can see right here it is fading out and we can fix that with an easy swipe. Alright so this comes to the very end of the video. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button. I'm out of here for the day and drive with passion.